coming back. Very unlucky. The meta and Rahiga being the most flexible support. Rhaegar the most flexible support? Well, he can turn into a wolf, but Stukov can stretch his arm for like two miles. Talk about flexibility. Friend. I think you'll be hard pressed to make that argument. Battlefield of Eternity, he wants Vala, I ban what? Garrosh? Maybe? I'll do Garrosh. Thanks, Dad. No prof. I got what I asked for. Serves me right. There you go. This realm needs me. Vilnius will rise again. Death is beyond your reach. Muradin Rhaegar. That is such a... Oh, you know what? I got that Sonya skin too. What am I doing with my life? Kaboom, laddie! Time to die! Sonya of Harrogate claims your life. Crumble before the buzzard. Bulkathos smiles on me this day. Asano, you asked me earlier? I'm sorry. Oh yes, the Sonya W. Let's see what happened last game. Was a little bit backwards, right? Where was it? Oh, I'm banning. my path I heed the voice of Elun let's see Karazim Tiranda Maltael Greymane mm, nice diva versus mouth <laughs> I think he's being sarcastic Kerrigan seems good. Unbridled energy. Unenergetic brides. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Look, look at my cursor and look at my Sonya. I have W and auto attack available. I eventually W'd, but it took a long time. The auto text didn't go off. Oh yeah, it did go off. The second didn't go off. 
and then the slam. Hey Grubby, been watching your stream for ages. Figured it's time to give a bit back. Hey. Thanks for all the insights and good laughs, smiley face. Thank you very much, uh, Barry Bizzle. So I got an auto attack, missed an auto, got a slam. Prepare yourself for But maybe I did animation cancel on my first auto because it didn't look like it. I didn't know Sonya could animation cancel that much. Work to be done. We have triple assassin. I don't feel like I need sharpened blades. I'll get blocks. Yeah, I, I I animation Four, cancelled the first three, auto attack. Two, That's true. One. Let the battle begin. With the heal talent. Oh, did I? Can you teach us Kerrigan? Yeah. Uh, you wanna I gotcha. make it really. You wanna make it really unpredictable when you do your combo. If you are at low leagues and you realize that people never dodge, do your combo, right? Do W into E to get your guaranteed pull in and stun combo. But if you're against better and better players, you'll realize that they do what is called juking. Juking is not being. Uh, it's not being married to a duchess. Be it a is dodging enemy skill shots, right? So I'm just gonna do, for the sake of illustration, I'm gonna jump in with Q and then do an immediate stun and we'll see how Malthiel reacts. So I got the hit, right? But it could be lucky, who knows? We'll try it again. But the next time he's gonna be wiser. So the next time when I jump in, I should do a delay on my combo. For example, this and then. Now, if I did the impale on my own legs, I would have had him. But you saw that he tried to dodge. The best way to dodge Kerrigan is sideways. As you can see, this is the range of pull-in. So you can see that right to my left and to my right are areas where it's easier to dodge this particular spell. So you want to make sure that you know where they're going to be going, so they can't dodge as well. a lot of people I think we can probably maybe win the trade press the attack Work to be done. Well, that was pretty darn close. Choose a talent. Press the attack. By delaying your combo, you. you make it more likely to hit. Now I need to choose my level 4 ability. And I'm going to go for Fear of the Swarm. Loadout received. Valiantly done, mortals. But that was not enough to kill a demon lord. He didn't choose his level 4 yet, so he could still go for the single target damage. Fear of the Swarm is nice Same against thing. Anubarak Beetles. It's nice uh, when you pull in multiple enemies. It's nice for uh, cheap wave this clear. One's mine. In the end, he chose to go for Black Harvest. This means he'll be looking to get stacks off of me that can help him become better in the late game. So it is important here to not overly trade much with uh, Malthael. Easy enough. Time for some payback. Malthea has so little pushing power that it is not important to directly attack him 
in order to win the lane. You don't even need to clear minions particularly fast. All you gotta do is just let your towers clear. He can't even hurt your towers all that much. One woman army. Now, if you're against a Zagara, it's or a different story. Down. You must pressure her to stop her. I'm gonna take a small risk here and try to do a pre-7 engage with my team. Since there is a lot of pressure here. And it pays off. So it was a good choice, even you though I missed the whole wave. Uh, I'm going to go for probably for the glory of the high heavens. this time I'll go blade torrent it's this. not the trending one Sounds at level good. 7 Blades the most popular spread. ones are uh, assimilation mastery or specifically bladed momentum now bladed momentum is really good for getting a lot of combos getting a lot of juking and jiving but I do suspect that Although it is probably still the best, it is to a degree overrated. Remove this hero from the fight. Because Kerrigan kind of goes in or, or goes out. There isn't that much auto attacking in fights because she can die fairly easily. Pushing ahead. Just let Li Ming poke. I'll just be counter engage. Assimilation mastery is really nice for sustain. I've got this. But the best single Glad you're back first second up. of the fight combo comes from taking blade torrent. And people tend not to expect how big that stun is either. It'd be a pleasure. Work to be done. A little bit of poke. I must admit that I never do take Blade Torrent Glad because I'm a up. fan of uh, cooldown reductions and I'm also a fan of uh, health and mana. But I really want to try it out. Why is the solo laner always top instead of bot? What's the reason? There's no practical reason for it except that because it is that way the status quo is maintained. There's no map specific reason that it works like that. In this case, the bigger stun actually gave me Greymane, whereas otherwise it would have only given me a Nubarai. So in terms of measuring the value of it, that's one point for this talent. Right. Interesting. Oh. Time for some payback. Although I missed, it's still a good move to zone them out entirely from attacking the Immortal. In this way, you add bonus value to it. This one's mine. Choose a talent. I'm gonna go with the uh, Ultralisk. Target identified. We done? We cool? I got These you. mercenaries are worthy battle or die. I will return again <laughs> soon, hero. Smart Malthael. We can fight over their bruiser, but I just don't think it's worth it. Even if you steal it, it will still not do damage. And although we have 10 advantage, this is one of the worst fights to be aggressive in as an attacker. They have a fountain near, they have a gate. There's plenty of things that says... Don't do this. Now they're level 10, we are as 4, but we're against 4, so we're basically safe. We still have all of our heroics. These are good checks to do to see if it's a good you. idea to attack or not. I'm just gonna proc his spell shield. Also, these kind of fake jump-ins are part of what makes Kerrigan unpredictable. You don't always have to follow up with the combo. That was a bad one. I think you I say we slay Prove that me. one You're next. the real grubby right now. And drop the sick dad joke. Um, I feel like they got the healing reduction on me. Touch of death. That ancestral was so small. And they did engage 5v4, so that was unfortunate. Malthiel managed to rotate up without his lane opponent knowing. I believe we were S4. 
Also, I missed my combo. I jumped in and missed my combo. So that's usually a death sentence as Kerrigan. Why is 1T4B instead of 3223 or etc? Uh, it's just a really a simplified ladder approach. There are no reasons for these things. They just happen because they happen. People like consistency, so they just keep doing 1-4. Time Every time I do a 2-3 on ladder, we end up killing the solo lane, which is of immeasurable value. To be done. And all that you need to make that um, immense advantage is I to practice. just sit tight on the bottom lane. But invariably, someone dies on the bottom lane as well during that time. So just it undoes part of the value not entirely because killing solo lane is better than killing one on the three lane as the four but still it, people are very uncomfortable with the change of the plans just proccing a spell shield an important uh, move when going up against anubarak every 12 seconds he has a one and a half second spell shield so if he can proc it do it Playing as Kerrigan on the BOE, partly it's about pulling people into the stuns. You kind of need to anticipate them. As soon as they come in range, there'll be a range stun. So I'll try to work with that. Oops. <laughs> Brilliantly executed, Illidan said, as I jumped into a very telegraphed stun. Gonna go with uh, double strike here. Pushing ahead. Time for some oh, he just jumped into the stun. I might be in trouble. Immortals Next. down, so I let's just go. I can do no more for now. Pretty decent. Not fantastic, but it's good enough. One woman army. It looks like all of them are bot. Target identified. So we give it away because it's 4v5. I could have stayed maybe. We could have fought. But I still think we had a few heroics missing. I see 4 bots so I can only be 1v1. That means I'm pretty safe. After I do this wave, this one's I can rotate, make it a 5v5, and we have positive map pressure top. So that's going to be a very good situation for us. I still see 4, so it's going to be 5v4 or 5v5. This hero from the fight. <laughs> oh no, too bad. Time for some payback. Good heal. I shall land in a moment. Nice ultra. Good job, Logan. Sweeping. Uh, Bruiser camp will die soon by itself. Repent before oh, we're lucky. It'd be a pleasure. Easy enough. Locust swarm, by the Time way. Time for some payback. Enough. I seek better ground. Do I have fountain? Yes. <laughs> Can I go fountain? I don't really need to yet. I still have one full combo in me. Time for some payback. I'll just play counter engage. Rather than being the one to engage, I let Muradin start. Maybe I go for a tap. It's okay. It's okay. They are not attacking, they're only defending. We're not 16 yet, Sweet. so attacking is not really necessary. Remove this hero from the fight. <laughs> they started being attacking now, so we can defend. Press the attack. 
Globe, globe and fight. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, we'll get 16 from top, so just go as 5 top. I will get aggressive defense. You'll generally regret it if you don't take that one. The others may seem attractive, but the amount of shields, the amount of shields you get, hard to give up. What's in the racks for? Oh yeah, beetle beetle. Yeah. Well fought. Keep destroyed. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. Right. Time for some payback. The timing was good, the aim wasn't. You see how I tried to play with the timing of when I do it. Double kill. GG. Someone asked me during the game, I was doing kind of an over explained game. So someone asked me during the game whether I can update my tier list. Uh, I can, I will try to do it. I've been pretty busy recently catching up with some work after I got back from uh, vacation, but I'll try to uh, get around to that. Thanks, Dentro Asanu. Do you think that Kerry and Garrosh synergize well, as suggested in the Garrosh video? Mm. I would say design-wise, Valera and Garrosh combine much better. If Valera stays back and Garrosh flips and throws someone in, Valera has the choice to use silence or stun follow up. She also has ambush, bonus damage on her ambush from cloak if the target is isolated. I think you. What is the timeless build for Amma? <laughs> All the quests of course. Oh my god, I can't run away here. No you can't. <laughs> 